In this video, let us understand how to solve this VB.NET error. So, whenever you try to insert a data, sometime you will get an error system.data.sql client sql exception. The conversion of varchar data type to date time data type resulted in an out of range value. The statement has been terminated. So, this is a common problem you face whenever you try to insert date. Okay, particularly this error is due to the date when you are inserting the date so this error will occur let's see that how to solve this problem what are the solutions so here have an example there is a ticket table there is a ticket tab you can see ticket tab and there is a transaction date so transaction date is a date type so i'll show the table definition here you can see that transaction date it is a date and time so now when you try to insert the data here so it gives an error okay so here i'm using a variable okay i'll just remark this so this is v date dot value so i'll show you what is that v date dot value so here we have a date time picker called as v date the name of the date picker is v date therefore instead of d2 i can straight away i can say v date dot value what are the values selected that value you want to insert Right. So let me remark this also so that I'll show you like why I use this like when I run this project Now you can see that I can click new and there is a options here to generate the ticket But we more concentrated on the date here. Okay. Now what happened? Let's say save So immediately it will fire an error. So this is the same error. Okay. Now why this error? So this error is due to the work data type to date time. So therefore that this value is have some problem here now how to solve this problem so there are two way here one is we can use the format function other one is you have to convert this into tree string format so what i'll do is i'll just say to string and here i'll going to use the format here so here format is dd dd so there is a day actually so if you use ddd that is a weak name so abbreviated in the three letters if you use d d d d then 4 d then it gives the full week name so if you want week name or date so therefore based on that okay if you use only 1 d so for example uh, 1 first date it will take 1 only if you use d d is 0 1 okay like that so then m m and i will use a 3 m 3 m for the month actually so 2 m for the month so then in a digit 3 m three characters month three characters if you use a 4m then it will give the full month name so you want only three so we will use three this is important because uh, if you take a us date there mm month first comes and then date whereas in indian so you have the date then the month okay it's always have a lot of difficulties therefore always use the month in a three letters therefore you can solve the problem or even you can use two also here it's okay it's not in a compulsory that you have to use three but anyhow so uh, sometime month will becomes a date date becomes month because of that reason so it's always better to practice mmm then y y y so if you want only two digit you can use two if you want four so then you need to use the y y y right now what happened whatever the date is selected that is converted into this particular format therefore you can easily can insert the data now i'm going to save this so new so to to so save now you can see that record saved the next one is so i'm going to delete the record okay so select this and then i'll try to delete this do you want to delete yes again you'll get the same error again why same error so here also we want to delete based on the date okay so here we want to delete to based on the date so therefore you'll get the same error now what we can do is so instead of form instead of two string i can use the format function so there is a format then here you have to give the format value so what is the format so what is the style okay what format style so here is dd slash mmm slash yyy so you can use the string function or format function so format the value what are the value then it should be formatted to dd mmm yyy Now we can run this. So select this, delete, 
yes so for this particular date all the records will be deleted now click new to save so record saved done so there's also one more method okay so i'll just show you like one more method So what is the other method is? So here, first let's check the insert statement. Okay, if you don't convert it, so I'll use the message box here. I want to show you like how the data will be. So how this value will be shown. Fine. Let's run this. So here the message box will show how the insert statement look like. So click save. So therefore here is the insert statement. Insert into ticket tab. So this is the values here is 1002 27 iPhone is there here. Okay, so therefore by default there is an iPhone here So instead of iPhone you want to have the forward slash. So that's also we can try. So now what we can do is We can use the replace method Okay, so let's say dim uh, d3 as a string That is equal to v date dot value dot to string so anyway, it is a two string into this particular format. Okay, so instead of <coughs> two string, so we'll convert into string and we pass to D3. Then what we'll do is D3 is equal to D3 dot replace. So I fun with forward slash. So now let's see that what will happen. So now you can see there is a forward slash here, there is a forward slash, okay. But still the problem is not solved, okay. Still you get the same problem. So even though it convert, it won't help us, okay. Therefore the best way is, one is to format it to string format and then you can use the D1 over here. So this is to DDMMYYY. So that is the best method or you need to use the string method or the format method. So any one will do the job. So the second one is format method. So you can just use as a string itself and then you have to use format and this is the format uh, type. Fine. So any one will do the job. So therefore whenever you have a date, so try to convert into string format and then you can insert. Then you don't get error. So it should be inserted. Fine. So, whenever you have this problem, so try to use this method, probably you can be able to solve this problem. In case if you have other problems, so please write it in the comment box. Let me know what is the problem, so we try to help you out on this. Thank you for watching.